Hi, I'm Katie from New Tech Machinery. Operating portable roll forming machines can come with risks, especially if you don't understand the best safety practices to take when using these machines. However, you can be a safe, portable roll forming machine operator by following these 10 simple steps. You can also download our infographic to post in your facility for quick reference or to share with employees. Number one, read the machine manual and go through training before attempting to use your machine. First and foremost, you must understand how the machine works inside and out. We recommend reading through the machine manual and signing up for training from a skilled service tech. The machine manual is one of the most valuable tools you can have on hand when using your roof panel or gutter machine. It has all the details you need to know for performing profile changeovers, troubleshooting common problems, and maintaining your machine. As much information as your machine manual provides, a training session gives new machine operators a hands-on approach to learning the safest ways to run a portable roll former. Number two, always keep covers, lids, and guards mounted to the machine during operation. The shear is extremely dangerous and can cause serious injury. For this reason, the machine is provided with a guard to prevent the operator from reaching into the shear. The guards must remain in place at all times when the machine is in operation. Keeping the covers and lids on your machine also helps protect the portable roll former by making sure harmful and damaging items don't get inside. Debris, dust, and foreign objects can damage machine components or material running through the machine. Number three, observe and obey all safety warnings. On a portable roll forming machine, various signs indicate where operators should proceed with caution around the machine, especially near the shear, the entry end where coil feeds through, and the exit end where the panel or gutter comes out. Remember, never operate your machine alone and make sure you know where the emergency stop button is. On some of the roof panel machines, the emergency stop is a large red button located on the machine's control panel. When the machine is running, Pushing the emergency stop button will cease all functions and completely shut down the machine, including the engine. If the shear is in the down cycle, the shear blade will freeze in its current position. This button also shuts down the machine when not in use. Number four, adhere to and follow all local and national safety codes concerning loading and unloading reeled coils. When loading and unloading reeled coil on fixed reels, cradles, or expandable arbors, use only experienced operators to operate your lifting equipment, as well as follow all local codes regarding use of this kind of equipment. Also, be sure to remove the straps from the coil before loading material onto your machine. Number five, use only properly rated devices for lifting reeled coils into or out of the reel stand assembly. When selecting a proper lifting device, you want to make sure that it can handle the coil's weight is in proper working condition, and is properly rated to lift or place the reeled metal coil. Ensure nobody is around the machine and equipment while lifting the coil into or out of the reel stand or rack to avoid any accidents or injuries. You can also read your machine manual for specific instructions on lifting, loading, and unloading reeled coils from expandable arbors and reel racks, depending on which machine you use. Number six, don't wear loose clothing, jewelry, etc. that could become entangled in the machine's moving parts. In roll forming machines, the metal coil goes through a series of rollers that progressively bend and shape the material to a desired profile. Wearing loose clothing or low hanging jewelry can become caught in these moving parts during operation or when you're close to the machine and potentially injure the operator, those around the machine or damage the machine itself. It's also important to remember to wear the proper personal protective equipment when operating or maintaining your machine, including safety goggles, hard hats, and closed toed footwear. Number seven. Stop the machine and disconnect the power before attempting to make any adjustments or perform any maintenance or changeover procedures. As obvious as it may seem, machine operators must remember to stop and disconnect the power before making any adjustments, performing any maintenance actions, or changing over profiles. Not only does shutting off power prevent the machine from starting up again and potentially injuring yourself or others, but it also keeps your machine from crashing if tools get stuck between the rollers or inside the machine. Number eight, avoid storing your machine outdoors for long periods of time. Yes, portable roll forming machinery and equipment are designed to be used outdoors. However, storing them outside for a long time can cause problems. Continuous exposure to weather like rain or snow can cause rust to form over time. Storing your machine outdoors also increases the chance of dirt and debris becoming trapped in the drive rollers and forming rollers. This foreign matter can scratch the metal coil as it goes through the machine. Additionally, if you're going to cover your machine with a tarp, 
Make sure there's enough ventilation to prevent condensation and rust. Number nine, don't use solvents to clean drive rollers. Some portable roll forming machines have polyurethane drive rollers. Chemicals and solvents can damage the polyurethane, so take care and only use soap, water, or a citrus-based degreaser and a Scotch-Brite pad to clean your drive rollers. Your machine manual has a list of recommended lubricants and fluids to use when maintaining your portable roll forming machine, or you can ask our service department. Number 10, always empty the machine of any material before transport and storage. One of the significant advantages of using a portable roll forming machine is that it can be taken right to a job site. However, you want to remember to empty the machine of any material that may be inside before you transport it and before you store it after use. When you leave material inside the machine, more dust and debris can gather inside and damage the drive rollers and the heat treated forming rollers. Don't forget to download your free infographic that provides all of this information at a glance. If you have any questions about safely using your portable roll forming machine or taking care of your equipment, contact one of our roll forming specialists today.